I think the central condition of men is an extraordinary isolation, an emotional isolation. I've seen it in so many of my patients and uh, felt it myself as a man. And the way I've expressed that to women's groups when I've been asked to speak to them is that if you could imagine three things. First of all, that your closest circle of friends, those friends that you would talk to about your children, your marriage, your, your family, your body, your hopes, your disappointments, if they're severed and you never have a chance to talk to them again. Secondly, that you would disconnect whatever the source is that you consider your guiding principles, call it your intuition, your instincts, whatever, that that too is, is broken forever. And thirdly, that your worth as a human being would depend at least significantly on your capacity to meet external standards of production that have nothing to do with your personal life or your soul. Now you can see how those conditions would lead to an extraordinary isolation, perhaps self-alienation. And um, that's the basic condition of most men. And most men are raised in, in a context in which those things are true and again, what it produces is a sense of shame, alienation, uh, uneasiness, uh, confusion, lack of affirmation, obviously lack of support and community as well.